Hey, hey y'all. Uh, today we are going to talk about black hair care options in Mexico. You may have noticed that I got a new do, so I thought, why not? Uh, but first, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Adelia Borchade. I help black women master their money so that they too can move abroad or travel the world or do whatever the hell it is they want to do. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that button. That would be very, very helpful to me. Okay, so let's get down to it. Let's talk about black hair care options in Mexico. I live in Mexico City, so I probably have more options than someone who lives in a teeny tiny town in the middle of nowhere. But in general, the information I'm gonna share today kind of applies to all of Mexico. Uh, let's start with talking about salons. Are there black salons in Mexico? Uh, none that I've ever seen. Um, here in Mexico City, every now and then, you might see a salon advertise that it does curly hair. I don't know about you, but I am hesitant to let someone without melanin in their skin do my hair. Uh, those people might be great, but if you are looking for a salon where the people inside are melanated, I have not come across anything like that. So, you know, there are tons of salons here, but if you want some with a melanated staff that has experience in doing hair like yours, I have not seen that yet. But just because there are not salons doesn't mean there aren't stylists. Um, as you can, I did not do this myself. Someone else did it. Um, there is a black diaspora presence here. There are people from the US, uh, the Caribbean, there are people from African countries. So you can usually find, and that's not just here in Mexico City. Most sizable cities in Mexico have a black diaspora presence. So you can usually find, like the lady who did my braids, she is from Cameroon. Um, you can usually find stylists. Uh, there are some people, some black Americans who have come to Mexico or who come like once a month and will do hair. Those people tend to frequent really popular areas like Playa del Carmen, Cancun. Um, I haven't seen anybody advertising like that that comes here. Um, but there are a few uh, black Americans who live here who style hair. Uh, they focus more on like natural styles, twist outs, that sort of thing. Uh, if you're looking for a relaxer, I don't know what you're gonna do. I have not seen a relaxer for sale here. So every black woman I know who lives in Mexico is, is is wearing some kind of natural hairstyle. There, some of the people who do braids also do locks. Um, some people have just opted to learn to do their locks themselves. If you wanna get your hair braided, but there isn't anyone from the diaspora in the part of Mexico that you're living in, there are lots of Mexicans who do braids. Uh, what you, you can search on Facebook, you can search on Instagram for trenzas. That's what these are called. The verb is trenzar. Um, so if you're comfortable having somebody non-black braid your hair, that is an option in a lot of places in Mexico. There are also barbers who can give you a fade and do the kind of cut that, uh, you know, us as black folks that we're used to. Um, I think you've noticed that I've got a considerable amount of my head shaped. I had that done here in Mexico City when I got back from China in January. The barber I went to is a repat. He had been living in Chicago uh, and came down here and he does the kind of cuts that we would look for. There are also um, if there is a sizable Cuban population in the Mexican city that you live in, you can probably find a good barber. So if you're looking and your search for black barber doesn't turn up anything, ask around and be like, 
where do the Cubans go get their hair cut? That, that would be uh, what, what I would do. Um, in addition to the Cuban areas, here in Mexico City, we have an area called Little LA, where a lot of repats, people who have been deported from the US have settled. Uh, and the barbers there know how to like fade hair, do that sort of thing as well. Okay, products. This, <laughs> this is one of the top questions that gets asked when people ask about, you know, what should I bring? What should I pack? The number one answer you are going to get from a black person is seasoning and hair products. There are a couple of ways that you can approach this. Um, you can bring your own. I know people who, when they initially move, they have an entire suitcase set aside for hair care products to last them until they visit the U.S. again. So that's one option. Another option, uh, which I have taken advantage of, is when someone comes to visit to have them bring um, products for you. Uh, this hair is not for sale here in Mexico. So when I had a visitor back in November, I asked her to bring some braid hair for me. Um, another option, if you are, I don't wanna say if you're incredibly desperate, but this is not the most dependable option, but there are Facebook groups like mule groups, which I know sounds like people are mule and drugs, but um, in that group, you can kind of coordinate between people who are coming down from the US or Canada to see if they can bring the product that you're looking for. But it also works the other way. Um, I actually helped somebody out who was donating a formal to a prom charity in Houston. I happened to be flying out to Houston that week. And so I took the dress for them to Houston to donate it. I'll look it up and put a link in the description. That, that's the first option for products. You can bring them in, have somebody bring them in, or see if you can get somebody to mule them. There are some well-known brands available here in Mexico. Uh, Mexico has Sally's Beauty Supply, although they don't sell everything that they do at the US, but a lot of those products you can get here. But things like Shea Moisture, uh, Cantu, can't remember the whole name of that brand. They have that readily available here and another brand called Maui Moisture. Um, if you go into a large grocery store chain like Chedrari, Superama, uh, I think I've even seen them in a Sumesa. So those three brands are widely available. And if you're in a, or like a Walmart, if you're in a city that's got at least a Walmart, you should be able to find those. You, what you may learn to do, and this is what I have learned to do, is to figure out what your hair likes and look for those characteristics in the products that are available. So like for instance, they have Pantene here, they have Herbal Essence, they have Tresemme. So like I look for anything, any conditioner that is like hydrating or something like that. So right now I'm using a Tresemme hydrating conditioner, which I'm very satisfied with. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could, you know, go buy some Cantu or whatever. Another option is Amazon. Amazon US does ship here. It depends on who the vendor is, but you can buy things from Amazon US. And I would suggest doing Amazon US before you opt to have somebody mail products to you. If somebody were just to mail you something, there's a good chance your package may get stopped in customs and customs will then decide whether you have to pay a tax or not. Oftentimes, I don't, I don't know how they calculate it, but oftentimes people end up paying twice, three times what the thing is valued to get their stuff. So I would opt, I would check uh, Amazon US and see if they ship to Mexico because when you buy from Amazon US, they include, if there is a tariff, uh, a tax, they include it and you pay it upfront 
everything I have ever ordered from Amazon US and I have ordered yoga mats, I've ordered cell phones, I've ordered all kind of stuff. It gets delivered to my door, no problem, no issues with customs. And if they happen to overcharge you, they will refund you the money. We also have Amazon MX, Amazon Mexico here. Um, it is separate, but if you are thinking about um, like making your own products and you wanna buy stuff like shea butter and Aragon oil and that kind of stuff, you can probably order it on Amazon MX or Amazon US. Um, Am I will be honest with you, Mexican Amazon, a lot of times things are more expensive, especially if it's a vendor here in Mexico. So what I will do is I will look at both sites and see even with the taxes and the tariffs included, which one comes out better. So that is an option. Um, we also have something called Mercado Libre, which is very popular in Latin America. It's sort of, it's like Amazon. Um, different vendors, I was gonna say it's kind of a mix between Amazon and eBay, except there are no, um, there's no auction. I've, I haven't been on eBay in forever, so I don't even know if eBay still does that. But, but yeah, Mercado Libre, you can find, you can pretty much find anything on Mercado Libre. Uh, but I will tell you, the vendors who sell black hair care products, they know us up because something that would have cost me $5.99 at Target, they were selling for the equivalent of $40 USD. So you can pretty much get anything you want. The question is, are you willing to pay for it? I mentioned a little while ago that another option is to um, make your own products. Uh, you can find essential oils, you can find shea butter. I have a connect uh, with some organic, fair trade, African shea butter. It's really, really good. Um, so you can pretty much get the raw ingredients that you want, coconut oils, that kind of stuff, and make your own. So there you have it. Those are the basics about black hair care options in Mexico. If there is something I missed or something that you have a question about, leave it in the comments. YouTube will let me know and I will uh, respond and get that information for you. If you appreciate this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, you might want to do that. That way you know the next time I post a new video. Um, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all next time.